This video will show you how to get started with the UPS shipping and label printing app by POCO. The first step is to select your account settings. You can use the POCO UPS account, which will return the same rates as UPS.com. Or you can use your own UPS account, which will allow you to return any negotiated rates you have, as well as generate shipments and print labels. For this, you will need a client ID, client secret, and enter your account number. We've created a video showing you how to get that information. For this example, we're going to use the POCO account. We only need to enter the origin country, state, and zip code, as well as select the origin address type, either commercial address or residential address, and click update. Then we go to the second step, shipping preferences, where we can decide where we want to drop off shipments, either if you have a daily pickup coming or a customer counter, and you have the option to add an insurance to the shipments. You can select percentage of retail price and then enter what percentage should the insurance um, or rather the shipment value be. For this, we're going to keep it none and click update. Now we're going to the package setting step, step three. There's two ways we can set up the packaging. One is using UPS flat rate shipments. Those are only good for using a single package up to 50 pounds, and there are five different size boxes. You will have to select the one that would fit your product best. At a future version of this app, there will be an option to select dimensions for each product and have this calculated automatically. The other option is using weight only, in which case you can specify the maximum weight per box. If that weight is reached, another box is being used for shipment. Or how many maximum products can fit in a box. And if more than that amount of products is added to the cart, then a secondary box will be used. Once you've made your selection, click update and move to the next step. In step four, we are going to select which shipping option, options or carriers we want to offer our customers. They're all the domestic ones at the top and international ones at the bottom. And you simply need to enable the ones you want to offer. For our example here, we're going to go with ground, three day select, second day air and next day air. And once you enable an option, you can edit it and specify things like an extra charge if you would like. Um, it can be a fixed amount. It can be a percentage of the order total, etc. This will be added to the order. And you can also select a free shipping limit. If you would like to offer free shipping only for this carrier, when this limit is reached, that will... Um, change the carrier to free and you can specify transit time that will be visible to customers on the front end of the website for example three to seven days and click on the save button finally there's a label printing option which only works if you're using your own ups account we will get to that at a later video now let's try and test our new carriers. We're going to go to our front end of our website, select the product, add it to the cart, and we're going to go to the cart page. And now we should see the carriers that we have enabled. We have ground, three day select, second day air, and next day air. Now let's try to test our free shipping option. We're going to increase this to seven so the total of the order is more than two hundred dollars and we can see that the ground shipping option is now at zero this is our little tutorial of the ups shipping enable app if you have any questions feel free to click the contact us here and we'll be happy to help thank you very much for using our app